Welcome to Endless Learning Training Series The Membrane-Based Desalination Technology. In this presentation we will study about what is Modbus and how it work, introduction to Modbus, advantages, disadvantages, Modbus data frame, practical problems encountered with Modbus communication. Introduction to Modbus Modbus was developed by Modicon, now Schneider Electric, in 1979 as a means for communicating with many devices over a single twisted pair wire. Modbus is an application layer protocol based on a master slash slave or request slash reply architecture. Modbus is a versatile and widely used communication protocol in industrial automation. Modbus communication protocol is a widely used protocol in supervisory control and data acquisition SCADA, systems. It's an open source protocol. It can be included in a wide range of device types from any equipment vendor. Modbus protocol. The Modbus protocol follows a client, server, master slash slave architecture where a client will request data from the server. It's a pulled protocol where a central master asks each device for status information in a sequential loop. Modbus protocol establishes a common format for the layout and contents of message fields. The master typically is a PLC, Programmable Logic Controller, PC, DCS, Distributed Control System, or RTU, Remote Terminal Unit. Advantages of Modbus Communication Simplicity Modbus Protocol is straightforward and easy to implement. Wide Compatibility Modbus has been around for decades and is supported by a vast array of industrial devices such as PLCs, sensors, actuators, and HMI. Flexibility Modbus supports various data types and formats, including discrete inputs, coils, input registers, and holding registers. Cost Effectiveness Modbus is an open protocol there are no licensing fees required. Disadvantages, speed limitations, Modbus serial communication, especially over long distances, may suffer from speed limitations, security concerns, Modbus protocol lacks built-in security features, making it susceptible to cyber threats such as unauthorized access, limited data size, Modbus imposes restrictions on the size of data packets, limiting the amount of information that can be transmitted in a single message. Practical problems encountered with Modbus, network congestion, with numerous devices communicating over Modbus, network congestion can occur, leading to delays in data transmission and response times. Data integrity issues, Modbus communication may be susceptible to data corruption or loss, especially in noisy over long communication distances, leading to inaccuracies in data readings. Compatibility issues, integrating Modbus devices from different manufacturers result in compatibility. Issue Security vulnerabilities. Modbus protocol lacks robust built-in security features, making it vulnerable to cyber threats such as unauthorized access, configuration challenges, configuring Modbus devices and setting up communication parameters, such as baud rate, parity, and addressing, correctly can be complex, scalability limitations. Scaling up networks to accommodate additional devices or expanding across multiple sites may pose challenges. Troubleshooting and diagnostics is challenging. Modbus data frame to communicate with a slave device, 
The master sends a message containing device address. The device address is a number from 0 to 247. Function code. Type of function the slave need to perform like read or write data. Address of register. Error code. Error check. Check some value to check the data is valid. Modbus memory map. The common memory areas in a Modbus device's memory map include coils. Coils are binary outputs that can be read from or written to. They represent discrete states, discrete inputs. Discrete inputs are binary inputs that can only be read from. Input registers. Input registers are 16-bit registers that store data values provided by sensors or other devices. Holding registers. Holding registers are 16-bit registers used for storing data values that can be read or write. Modbus versions. The three most common Modbus versions used today are Modbus ASCII, Modbus RTU, Modbus slash TCP. Modbus ASCII, Modbus ASCII, all messages are coded in hexadecimal, using 4-bit ASCII characters. For every byte of information, two communication bytes are needed. Modbus ASCII is the slowest. The Modbus ASCII message frame structure as shown. Modbus RTU. In Modbus RTU, data is coded in binary and requires only one communication byte per data byte. This is ideal for use over RS-232 or multi-drop RS-485 networks at speeds from 1200 to 115 baud. The most common speeds are 9,600 and 19,200 baud. Modbus RTU is the most widely used industrial protocol, so most of this paper will focus on Modbus RTU basics and application considerations. Modbus RTU has a limitation of 247 nodes per network. Modbus slash TCP, Modbus slash TCP is simply Modbus over Ethernet. Instead of using device addresses to communicate with slave devices, IP addresses are used. With Modbus slash TCP, the Modbus data is simply encapsulated inside a TCP IP packet. Hence, any Ethernet network that supports TCP IP Modbus slash TCP networks can have as many slaves as the physical layer can handle. Often this number is somewhere around 1024. Client slash server model. The Modbus messaging service provides a client server communication between devices connected on an Ethernet TCP IP network. This client slash server model is based on four type of messages. Modbus request is the message sent on the network by the client to initiate a transaction. Modbus indication is the request message received on the server side. Modbus response is the response message sent by the server. Modbus confirmation response message received on the client side. OSI layer mapping of the Modbus protocol. The Modbus application protocol operates at the application layer, layer 7, and the data link layer, layer 2, of the OSI model at the application layer. Modbus defines a set of function codes for TCP IP interfaces. As the transport channel itself is reliable, no additional CRCs are used. Modbus on TCP IP application data unit. A dedicated header is used on TCP IP to identify the Modbus application data unit. 
It is called the MBAP header, Modbus Application Protocol header, dot, Modbus request slash response over TCP IP protocol data unit is function code plus data. All Modbus slash TCP ADU are sent via TCP to registered port. Thank you for watching this video.